real bad. Dude's fish food against starters. Barbecue chicken. Two piece, no seasoning, overcooked. Mm -hmm. No sauce, no napkins. It's dumb, Pook. What? It's not my fault you can't riff. <laughs> I can riff, but it takes a great artist to know how to edit. Oh, so you a great artist now. They call me Shep Caso. No, they don't. If I said they call me Shep Caso, they call me Shep Caso. Okay. Thank you. Candace, you got a question? Congratulations on your first start. Thank you, Candace. Thank you. You looked very comfortable out there. How is starting different versus coming off the bench? It, it's, it's a little different because you are out there for the start of the game, so it's maybe a little bit easier to get warmed up, you know, as opposed to just having to check in and immediately adjust kind of thing. You know, but overall, my goal is just to help the team win. So, is it very important to you whether you start? Nah, I mean, like I said, you know, I just, I just really want to help the team win. That's it. So starter, you know, coming off the bench, whatever, it don't matter to me. You know, as long as we get these wins, your boy is happy. I gotta say, so far, it seems like you are making the adjustment from college to the NBA fairly smoothly. Um, what has been the biggest challenge? Thank you, CG. I really appreciate you saying that. Uh, honestly, it's mostly the stuff off the court. You know, guys in this league are professionals. You know, they're grown men. I mean, so you have to come correct because no one has time for your foolishness. So I guess, you know, I had to grow up a little quicker. <laughs> well, what's that like since you are still very young? <laughs> it's cool. I mean, it's cool. I mean, I'm young, but I'm also given an opportunity that very few people get. You know, so I'm happy to trade a couple homecomings or whatever for a chance to compete with the best in the world. Hmm, that's a very healthy perspective. Okay, that's it. All right. Thanks, guys. That's a big map you guys got in there. Um, what is this? Ah, this is the city. Oh, no, 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 it looked like you're about to plan a heist or something. Exactly. What are y'all still in? The hearts and minds of the city. Yo! Okay, sorry, do your speech. He has a whole thing planned. He has a whole oh, Here we go. <sighs> MP, there comes a time in every man's life where you must face an adversary that is so treacherous, you have to dig and call on reserves of strength that were un otherwise unknown to you. That day is today, as you compete for the hearts and the minds of the people of this city! O of this city! <laughs> Wait, Gu guys, come <laughs> on, we just say it together. I'm Everyone, sorry, Ricky, no, Ricky, time look, out, I didn't man. agree yeah. to any I'm of I'm sorry, this. I thought I was supposed to be, you know, winning these people over and not destroying them in battles. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking Look, yeah, about. Yes, 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 you're winning them over, but it is a battle. I mean, no. you, you don't have to crush them yet. No, but... you definitely don't want to crush them. Okay, fine, but you can't just wake up one morning and have an entire city love you. You've got a plot, you've got a scheme. No, don't say that out loud again. Okay, That's... well, you have to have a plan. We Gross. have a plan. Okay, yes, we've made some headway with the core fans of this group, and, and, and that's great. But we're just getting started, man. All right, all right, all right. I'm all ears. Yes. So what comes next? We want to help you make a difference in the community, but we need to do it strategically. So, okay. 
We broke the city up into four different districts. All right, now each district has its own unique personality and geographic boundaries. All right. You've got the fashion district, music district, business district, and of course the legendary Hammond Park. Now in each district, there's a key figure that you're gonna need to win over. We'll call this person a boss. Okay, it's like a video game then. I like a battle. Ricky, no, no battle. Okay, fine, look, you win over the bosses, the fans will follow. And you win over the bosses by helping their communities. Everybody wins. Okay, so who are these bosses then? Ashley, you're up. As some of you may know, I do have a background in fashion. Don't be modest. Ashley has a BFA from the City Fashion Institute. That's <clears throat> very prestigious. Okay, well, things did not work out in fashion for me, obviously. Uh, but okay. I was lucky enough to spend time with Callaway Shields, wow. the most well-respected professor at CFI and the backbone of the city's fashion community. It's pretty cool. Now, you're Sorry. gonna have to up your rep as a fashion guy. Yes. Uh, before he'll probably be willing to have a meeting with you, but once you do, Ashley can set it up. Wait, wait, wait what's wrong with my fashion rep right now? <laughs> I think so I dress Look, fairly there's nice. There's nothing wrong, bro. I mean, you're just, you're a basketball star. I mean, you gotta do a lot to stand out. Exactly. You know, Devin Booker hoops at Moss Point, and he just got a pair of those super exclusive uh, mm. player-only Kobe's, Kobe's that everyone wants. Yeah. You could see if he could hook you up with something like that. Right, and then once it's you that easy. get a pair, make sure you show them off in fashion walks. Okay, yes. but just remember that this Great is all idea. about Callaway Shields. Actually, this this is where he's headquartered, right over here at, at, at uh, CFI. Uh, wh why? Why is this map so big? You specifically asked me to make this map ginormous. I did. Yeah. All right, Mila, you're up. Okay. As you know, the city has a thriving music scene. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I've seen more shows here than I can even count. When you think of the music scene, who do you think of? Just off the top of your head. J. Cole. Thank you. Easy. Easy. Bingo. Easy. Excuse me. I thought this was my talking point. Huh. Oh, I'm sorry. After you. My bad. There is no bigger tastemaker than J. Cole. All right. He does have a 93% likability rating among self-described hip-hop heads. Hey, best part? Dreamville Records is right there. I mean, this is an easy one, bro. You're a hooper, he's a hooper. Just mm -hmm. go over there and strike up a conversation. See what happens. I bet. That was my idea. That it was, Mila. Who let him have a stick? I don't know. Okay, and now as for the final two districts. Talk First up, the legendary Hammond Park. Ooh, that's the Mecca right there. Yeah, well, as of right now, it's a no-go. Yeah, they hate your guts. Can't stand you. Hardcore Shep territory. Okay, I, I get it. The guy's been hooping here for years, but I'm not gonna just lay down and die. Oh, no, 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 absolutely not. But first, you gotta build some support before you just step into that hornet's nest, which is exactly why we want you to, you know, make some inroads in these other communities first. All right, all right, fair enough, man. Cool. Now, let's talk business district. Mm. So in that district, the uh, key figure is Bobby Miles, right? Mm -hmm. Better known as Uncle Bobby. Yeah, the yes. most beloved figure in this entire city. He owns all the percolates. And half the other businesses. True. Yeah, he's got his hands on a little bit of everything. Seems. Yeah, I'm, dude does so much charity work too. I mean, people just love this guy. Yeah, but we need to start sure at the do. ground level here and prove to Uncle Bobby that you're the type of person who shares his passion for improving the community. For sure, for sure. Yeah. So what are y'all thinking? There is a hot dog vendor, Carl Beam, mm -hmm. and Uncle Bobby has given him a little bit of seed money to try and open a brick and mortar, but he needs a lot more to get over the finish line. Right now, he only has a cart. Wait, wait, so I'm just gonna be giving him money? No. For no. me, that sounds like I'm cheating just no, now. No, 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 that's not. I want you to help him run a promotion. Next okay. game day, if you hit a half-court shot during shoot-around, anyone who bought a hot dog that day can present their receipt to Carl next time they're at his cart and get a free hot dog. Ah. Uh. This type of publicity is worth so much more than any check. You and it shows that in. I care as well. Exactly. Which I like. I love hot dogs. We know. <laughs> it sounds like fun. I'm with it. Great. I set up a meeting with Carl so you can talk to him face to face and see how he thinks you can help get the word out. Let's do it. Now, I know that all of this might seem like a lot, but we'll be here to walk you through it. I mean, just follow our lead and you'll be fine. Yo, honestly, man, it, you guys put in a lot of work on this, and uh, I really feel blessed to have you guys in my corner. Okay, sentimentality plays very well in the fashion district, but it's seen as a sign of weakness in the business <laughs> district, so let's just, let's just be careful how you <laughs> deploy it. Yeah, I I'll keep that in mind, Ashley. That's gross. Thank you.
Yo, MP, what's up, man? Oh, Big fan. Boss, what's good, fam? Yo, huge fan, man. That one track you did with that verse. Yo, look, for the record, I think you're just as good a player as Shep. I mean, sure, he's more athletic, more dynamic, more exciting, yeah. but you know what I mean. <laughs> I, you know, I, you I know right. what you mean. I know what you mean, man. Yo, but, uh, cold around? Oh, he just left. Seriously? I was looking to, like, talk to him about a collab together or something like that. A collab with you? Yeah. I mean, Cole gonna say no, but... I feel you. Wait, why would he say no? Bro, do you know how many people are trying to get a verse out of Cole every day? Yeah, probably a lot. Definitely <laughs> a lot, man. Look, I like UMP, and you could ball, but you have no track record with music. It just is what it is. I got to slide, man, but it was good to meet you. Almost that, man. It's a pleasure, man. Hey, and I'm going to be seeing you soon. Trust. That's a bet. That's a bet. How'd everything go with J. Cole? <laughs> well... Mm, mm. Uh-oh. That's your not-great side. I have a not-great side. Yeah, it's the same one you used when I asked you how things went with my dad when I left you alone with him Fam, for the first for time. for two hours, the only thing he said to me was, shut up, I'm watching Shark Tank. Oh, J. Cole watches Shark Tank? No, no my no, no, dad no, her, her watches dad, Shark bro, Tank. I had, man. Oh. I mean, but J. Cole is... He's a dead end. Sorry. Okay, we can pivot. I'll come up with some names. I'm sorry to say it, but I don't see how we make this work without J. Cole. He's the central figure in the music scene here. I mean, well, he's not going to make time out of his already busy schedule to help a random basketball player. So, how's that? Then we've got to make him see that there's something in it for him from an artistic standpoint. Okay. You know what? Boz did say I don't have a track record, so... Okay, I got it. MP's got to drop a mixtape. No, no. What? No. That's I'm nice for a basketball player, but I'm not nice. No, no, no. Nice, nice. I, I was nice thinking, 
I was thinking MP works on a remix of one of J. Cole's songs. I know of a producer we could try and get in touch with, Amir Simsek. Mm -hmm. Wait, PhD Monk? Mm-hmm. Yo, that dude's amazing. I mean, he, he'll right. make a beat out of anything. Uh, that's what I'm what saying. Was that? He made that one track where, where it was snoring, like all right? samples of him mm -hmm. snoring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tough. Wait, but I mean, you think he'll collaborate with MP? It's worth mean, an ask. I mean, it would show that MP's got his ear to the ground. And you can get MP in touch with him? No. Really, no one can. He's a total recluse. But I do know that he lives in the city and that he loves vinyl. All right, so uh, head over to Eric's. If anyone knows how to get in touch with him, it's going to be Marvin. Congrats on... Well, well, look what the proverbial cat has dragged into. Truth Hurts was a number one smash for which artiste? Lizzo. Factual and correct. Let's go. Which group of rock royalty insists that they will rock you? Boom, boom, ba. Queen. Yes. In their hit 1992 track, what did Pete Rock and CL Smooth do over you? Easy. They reminisce over you. Yes. Against all odds, you have prevailed. I blame myself. However, I am nothing if not trustworthy. Great, so you can give me a just for Amir Simsek? No, I have no idea where he lives. No one does. Wait, so what was the point of me answering your stupid questions? Mainly for my own amusement. As you can see, there's not a lot of action here. Do you know how many times I've sorted the EDM for babies section? Yo, you've got to be kidding me right now. I assured you, you would not leave here empty-handed. While we know not where the man you seek lays his head, we do know where he's known to drop his beats. Give Ben your phone. No, that's not happening. I'm just gonna drop a pin, old man. All right, should have said that then. There's a dope crew that battles here. Hmm? PhD Monk has been known to drop off works in progress to give him a trial run. You're welcome. Strong, no strut, don't belong, and guess what? It's clear cut, no rhymes, and you're all gut, son. And in the long run, everyone knows the scuttle butt. Orion, so scuttle your butt, grab a donut, and run along. Hey. <laughs> so much for body positivity. Oh, man. Yo, MP? What's going on? Hey, man, man Massive fan. Yeah, yeah. You got the MP says, says you on? No, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Look, man, I wear this jersey ironically. It's from my stick, you know? Uh, gotcha, gotcha. Anyway, I mean, I'm looking for PhD Monk, and I heard that you could lead me to him. Oh, yeah, that's my boy, but I gotta respect his privacy, you feel me? What? Why are you lying to him, bro? I'm not <laughs> lying, dog. I heard he hangs about? out at Reed. Word? Yeah, but it's like an underground, underground club. Okay. You know, so it's like in a basement, and it's a secret. Yeah, and you can't get in without the password. Okay, hold on. What's the password? I'm not about to betray my friends like this any further. Okay, he doesn't even know your name, Kendall. I told you in the streets it's squirrel. Tell us, tell us, tell us, tell us, tell us. <laughs> There's got to be some way we can work this out. Help me here. Uh, you could battle him for it. Mm, I, you know, I, I was actually thinking I, more like I, game I, tickets. I take a flick with you or something like that. You know, I could do that. Yeah. The gauntlet is set. 
Hey, turn that beat up. Yo, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, bro. I'm not even a battle rapper, man. Chill. Nah, nah, you get that. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, so that jersey, that is a boy's XL. He's got a plantar ward on his left foot. He's been trying to get rid of it for like three years. Damn, it's not going anywhere. Uh, he's terrified of balloons. And he's got a stuffed pig that he sleeps with. He calls it Piggy Smalls. And, um, yo, it's on low-key. He's got a crush on his stepmom. What? When they go low, I go significantly lower. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, okay. Two or three year college player, all this time and never got chose. I met your girlfriend, me Garva, kissed her hand and gave her a rose. On this court, I'm way too cold and you not threatening me. Just 20 years old, but Ricky Bennett's on his second MP. I cross you over, step back, hezzy, then I still kept going. We both know that where you going, rather have Chef Owens. Your agent too young, ain't the only one finessing they roll. Ain't hard to tell, you only care about impressing J. Cole. Already had a talk about your game with PhD Monk. I told him soon as you step foot on the court, we start smelling skunk, jump is junk, and we gonna see if you gonna last on this court. What's MP stand for? Miss points? You look like trash on the court, man. It's your turn, man. Kendall, this ain't what you wanna get into. I got locked down defense and I hope this offends you. This full court pressure protect your neck or I wreck you. Check it, I'm with the extras, I'm Euro stepping and flexing. <laughs> they shooting, I made you look. I'll break your ankles and probably fix that water on your foot. <laughs> I mean, you've been trying for three years. You're not supposed to be here. This clown scared of balloons. I'm handing out free air. Brand new Jordans. I'm jumping from the foul line. Your moves really stink. I think it might be time for shower time. I'm ill with the rock. I'm holding this city, dog. Heard you sleeping on me with your stuffed toy, Piggy Smalls? Oh, man, that was harsh, MP. I thought you were my friend. Yo, I thought you knew I was sensitive about my weight. You're right. I crossed the line. Yeah. And I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry, too. Come on, man, come on. No, and I feel like, like you no, know, you know, I understand. Like, you <laughs> Right, right, uh, a deal's a deal. Okay, so, there was a minimum of cinnamon in the aluminum pan. Oh, say that, say that again. There was a minimum of cinnamon, cinnamon in, in the, the aluminum, aluminum pan. pan. There was a minimum of cinnamon in the I, aluminum I, I, pan. I keep it down, fam. Yes, My bad. I appreciate it, though. Yeah. Hey, we appreciate you. This has been so good for us. Hey, if you see Monk, uh, tell him Squirrel said what's up. I got it. He doesn't know who you are. Yes? He does. No, he doesn't. Shut up. No, he does not. And excuse me, Listen. a little more respect on my name. Piggy's gonna hear about okay. this. Don't, please don't tell Piggy. All please right, don't. MP. All right. <laughs>